Hello everyone, my name is Droogie Forever, and today we're playing Fear of the Unknown, Chapter 1. This is available on Steam, somewhere between 10 and 15 dollars I paid for this. I tried to do a video for this once, it didn't work out. I'll try one more time. And we'll see what happens. My name is Edward Heveny. I was Marilyn's personal doctor. I used to go to Marilyn's home every two to three days to check up on her and make sure she's taking her medication. Yeah, the house they use in this is in like every But the beginning of my lately. last visit was very unusual. Marilyn has always locked her front door, but this time it only took a light knock for the door to pave the way inside. At first, I thought maybe she'd forgotten to lock it. If you it. watch a lot of videos on my As channel, you'll have seen this house probably 20 times. But then I realized that the TV was not working. I feared that she'd gone up to the roof to try to fix it by herself, like she did the last time, and almost fell in the process. So I rushed up the stairs shouting her name, but then one of the steps broke, and I fell on my head. I can't remember what happened. But I recall seeing a dark figure looking at me from above the stairs. But I became unconscious before I could make up its face. <coughs> Just shut the light off in my office so I could see a little bit better because this game's pretty dark in certain areas and I, I had a hard time figuring out what the hell I was supposed to do in this game there's not much you can interact with and um, from what I understand there are some issues with the keys Some people were having trouble, apparently, uh, with certain things in the, in the game. Our new house. on the table could prove useful. Oh yeah. Yeah, so I took that and that was pretty much as far as I got. This, this game doesn't have uh, a lot to it. Oh, yeah, it's already on. Weird. There's not a lot of stuff that you can click on or do. I think, um, there was an object in the toilet at one point. I don't remember exactly when that shows up. And then I guess it's kind of a search for the object kind of game. I, it, it was really frustrating and the fact that it takes place in this house that I've seen a million times in every other horror game was frustrating. and It just generally just frustrated the hell out of me. So. Um, there are things you can pick up, but you can't do anything with it. You, you put them all down, basically. There's not a lot of lantern fuel, so you have to, you have to be careful how much you use. And that was another thing. I, I said I would explore in the first video until my lantern oil ran out. Ran out. Um, not just the first set of lantern oil, but the second set as well. And uh, it did. They both ran out. Can I see without this? There we go. Yeah, 
yeah, they both ran out, and I still hadn't really figured out what the hell I was doing. So, all right, I think the objective at this point is we've got the lantern, so now we can go upstairs, and that's when something happens. I don't remember what. Find a way to go upstairs. Find a way to clear the smoke. Alright, that's when this shows up. Maybe I should check the bathroom. Making sure I haven't actually like missed anything in here. All right, so this is about as far as I made it in the last playthrough. Go look upstairs. Hey, I can throw this. Okay, this is as far as I'm More of these statues. I need to look around. Yeah, and see, that statue doesn't count. I guess it has to be, like, the lit up ones. So I tried to take this upstairs and nothing happened. Uh, hold on, I guess I can't grab that. Oh. Holding the lantern? Okay, I can't grab it at all now. I can't crouch, so... Interesting. Controls. Run, zoom, fire, reload, use, examine. Yeah, there's no crouch. That's not good. I don't know how I'm going to pick that up. I hope I don't need it. But the problem now is, I was not able to determine what to do next. Oh, Jesus, I completely forgot about that stupid fucking jump scare. There's like fucking two or three of those in this section, I completely forgot. Maybe there is something in this room though, since he jump scared us here. There's another one. Maybe I do need these. It's got a symbol on it. It doesn't really match any of these. Maybe I do need these though. How am I gonna pick this up? I might have to restart just because I can't pick that fucking statue up. I wonder if they have to go on the F's. Yeah. Since it said two of the symbols match. Damn it, how am I gonna grab this? Oh, fucking hell. I keep forgetting to disable the fucking Windows key in these games. Come on, grab it. There's gotta be a way to grab this. This is ridiculous. Why did they not just put a fucking way to crouch in the game? Y and X, lean left and right. I was hoping if I lean I might be a little closer to the ground or whatever. Come on, give me a way to pick this up. Come 
Come on. Really? Really? Are we really fucking doing this right now? I'm really gonna have to restart this fucking game again. What a fucking piece of shit fucking game. I swear to god the positive reviews for this game were fucking paid for. There is no fucking way that people thought this was good. There's no fucking way. It's full of fucking used assets that we've all seen in a million fucking games before, and it's fucking garbage. in the room, wasn't it? Really? Dude, open the fucking door. Come on! God damn it! These fucking cheap ass jump scares, they're not scaring me, they're just pissing me off. I don't think there's any more of these in the house, but I'll look. I don't remember seeing any more of these around the house anywhere. Objective updated? Okay, but you didn't tell me what it updated to. And I'm not seeing any more of these statues anywhere. God damn this fucking door! Open! This drives me insane. Making sure there wasn't two in here. I doubt there are, but I'm just making sure. Yes, I know I need a key for the door. Here, how about up here? Ah, oh, there we go. Uh. I'll check upstairs when I'm done here. Serves. 
some of my fuel. There's a safe. I thought I saw something show up right there. clock is missing its hands. Hmm. Okay, this is actually slightly different from some some of the ways I've seen this house set up. This part's different. So I can read this. Hold on. Alright, so the back, what is that? Looks kind of like a D. So what, H? And then whatever looks like an R. So R. H, R, E. E, E. H, O, R, E, E. And then, uh, N, I, N, N, I, N, E, so nine. Wait, so the first one can't be that. Nine. Maybe it was T, H. R E E so three nine uh, what's this three nine uh six three nine six uh zero three nine six zero alright Which door does it go to? Probably this one, because it kept saying we needed a key.
the fucking cheap jump scares. Find the broken railing. Use the axe to break it. Use the axe to break the broken railing. I don't even remember the broken railing, but alright. Giving off my This is going to kill me? You sure? Uh what? I was gonna say, it didn't want to combine the uh, liquid there. Talking about this? This? I have no idea. unfair that they make it so dark that you absolutely have to use the light but they make the light run out I mean it's not like super fast like some horror games but it is fast enough that it's a mild annoyance all right before I go in there let's see if we can remove boards off this one nope apparently not okay Because our axe broke or something. back in. Yep. exactly is my objective. It's not telling me. It keeps saying the objective's updated, but it doesn't exactly fucking tell me what it's <laughs> doing. Okay. Did we die, or is that supposed to happen? I guess it was supposed to happen. Interesting. 
interesting. Apparently they took away my uh, my stuff. I don't have a light anymore. There's no subtlety to their jump scares, it's fucking stupid. It's just there to try to get a cheap scare out of you, which sucks, man. Some games do jump scares really well, this one's really poorly done. It's disappointing. You gotta build up to it, you know, with the music and the actions of the game, and then it, when it fits and it's done right, then it's perfect. These are just jump scares for the sake of being jump scares, and that's just cheap and dumb. Okay, I thought I saw something there, but I guess it's a, the edge of the drawer or something. I don't know. It's hard to tell because there's, uh, you know, no fucking light that I can see. Yeah, you know, we'll continue. Yeah, anyway, yeah, it's 200 watt transit power. But anyway, yeah, that's on the back page. This is the of, same uh, message from that horror game I played recently. I can't remember what the name of the game was. That's the exact same message from a game I played in the last few weeks. Don't really need an amplifier much. That's insane. That is the exact same message. Jesus. It's nuts how much shit people are reusing from asset packs and stuff nowadays. They're not doing any of the work themselves. They just piece the game together with shit that's already made and then call it a game. It sucks. I'm getting really sick of seeing that girl. It's just super disappointing. Back in the same hallway again. Fantastic. Okay, how do I hit the button? There's clearly a button in it. Walk through the gap. You have to fucking go around. That's frustrating. What is the point of any of these drawers? There's nothing in a single one of them. Why do they even bother? I'll tell you why. Because they got it from an asset pack. They just didn't need it, so they left it in. So 
it's, it has no purpose, but since it was in the pack, they they received, which at this point had to be for free, because I've seen it in way too many games for it to be a purchasable asset pack. Um, so they just left the whole thing in, just even though it was pointless to uh, have openable drawers that they didn't need, they just left it in because it already existed. tape and then maybe while we're playing it we'll get one too. I have a feeling the jump scare is going to be imminent. The way they've been doing them, that's, that's how it works. Oh my god, these fucking doors are terrible. You barely touch the fucking things and they fucking close. I'm just going to keep trying to open these doors until they open.
sucks. The lantern was way better. seen after what has happened. There are some rumors about what could have happened, but no one is sure. I gotta tell you, man, for the price you paid for this game, and yeah, they're supposed to add stuff to it, for the price we paid for Chapter 1, it's, it's unusually expensive for an indie horror game. And for them to have used all assets that are available basically for free, I'm pretty sure they're all for free, or were for free at one point in an asset pack, because that, that explains why I've seen it a million times. I mean, there's there's two specific houses that I've seen in a million horror games, and this is the most common of the two. This is the one that's in, like, everything. So, for them to charge that price and not actually build anything from scratch is kind of unbelievable, but whatever. I'm not a developer, what do I know, right? I've made pixel art and pixel backgrounds for 2D games that I haven't finished, and that's hard as hell but I've never tried to cobble together assets that are already created into a game. So maybe it's harder than I think it is, but who knows. That's Fear of the Unknown Chapter 1. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, tell that like button you want to smash, and don't forget to subscribe. You stay you. I'll stay me. Drinky forever. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. Later.